So hey, New Beginnings family and friends, so glad to be able to come with you this morning uh, for our last devotional before Easter Sunday. In John 19, 30, uh, we read, it says, when he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and he gave up his spirit. The word it is finished is to telestai. It is finished, it is done. And what is done? Well, the artist would say the last stroke of his painting and cry out to telestai. Or a writer would finish his last sentence and put a period or an exclamation point and say, my work is complete. This book is finished to telestai. You see, Jesus came to redeem all who are lost you and me, a world full of lost people, people who are separated from God because of the sin we all have in our lives. Romans 5.8 says this, but God demonstrated his own love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. In 2 Corinthians 5.21, he says this, God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God, to tell us die. God doesn't need to say or do anything more. He has forgiven us, he has restored us. God who understands what true love is says, it is done, it is finished, to tell us die. Jesus gave his life for you and for me. Romans 4.25 says this, He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. What is justification? Well, simply put, it's just as if we never sinned because of what Christ did on the cross for you and for me. And there are many who would say, uh, I've come across people in life, it's like, well, if God would do this or if God would do that, then I'll believe. But there is no need for if when it comes to God and the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Jesus gave his life. He gave everything. And we have need of nothing more because of that. To tell us die. It is finished. The price for our sins has been paid. Praise the Lord. Matthew 27 verse 51 uh, tells us what happened right after Jesus proclaimed to Telestai. He said this, it, it said, at the moment the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom and the earth shook and the rocks split. This curtain that we, we read about here in Matthew is the temple curtain. It's, it was the, one, the curtain that protected the Holy of Holies. It was the, the dwelling place of Almighty God. And with that tearing from the top to the bottom, this was a ginormous, I mean enormous curtain. And the work of Christ on the cross, it tore this curtain. The result was it tore from the top to the bottom. And it was Jesus saying, come in. Jesus paid for our sins, our past, our present, and our future sins. And he brings us to the Father, complete and forgiven to Telestai. The earth shook and the rocks split and it just tells us that we're shaken free. We're free from the burden of carrying our sin. We're free from the curse of death over our lives. Praise the Lord, Jesus has delivered us from those things. It was by grace we've been saved. It is His grace, His mercy on the cross on the cross, Jesus proclaimed to Telestai, it is finished, the work of salvation, the forgiveness for sin, and the restored relationship with God Almighty, to Telestai. On Easter, we celebrate the open tomb, the empty tomb, and with that, God proclaims, amen. God bless you and have a very happy Easter.